Power pad or no power pad, I'm not letting that sea snake snack on my pals. I guess I'll never learn. First I save a mouse, then these guys. Look for a yellow diamond on his back. That's the only spot where he's vulnerable. Find a way home somehow. But he forgot to show us how to get home to Hyrule. Girl Retro Star, welcome to another No Death Run from your girl Retro Star. Uh, we're gonna do a really strange game called Puss in Boots uh, Perils uh, Great Adventure. Um, I first heard about this game uh, through a certain episode in Captain and the Game Master, which is uh, season two, as you've seen in the clip. In the beginning of the of the uh, the game of this run, uh, that was one of my favorite episodes on 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 season two. So I thought I'd include that just to let everybody know this is how I discovered this game or knew about this game um, way way back in uh, way back in 1990. This game was released in 1990 uh, by Electro Brain and Toy Animation. This was uh, this was actually a really interesting game. Um, I kind of feel that they kind of done better with it. Uh, the music is is very unique. Um, the music kind of sounds like the Rocketeer game music a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if that's from the same company, but it sounds alike. But the music was actually surprisingly interesting in this game. Um, I just thought that the game was a little bit short. And uh, I definitely think they should, it could have been a, a little more challenging, but it was a relaxing type of game. Um, I thought I'd give it a give it a you know give it a try, and I actually say, hey, maybe I could do a run in this. Um, funny thing about this game is this game is actually absolutely easy until up, up until the, the very last the very last boss. Uh, up until the very last boss is pretty it's pretty pretty smooth sailing and pretty simple um but i seriously thought it think thought that this game had a little bit more potential i've never played the sequel to this game but hopefully they did a little bit more with the sequel um i love this character in captain n by the way i love the uh peril the cat this character in uh, captain n so this is how i knew about peril the cat and that's why i included the, included the, the uh the clip which is one of my favorite episodes in Captain N. Absolutely one of the... I think... I'm not sure what number episode that is, but I, I believe it's one of the later episodes in Captain N of uh, Season 2. As you can see, the... This stage kind of didn't uh, didn't make sense. But... You, all you gotta do is just kind of float through it. Um, 
pretty relaxed, pretty just, you know what I'm saying, not sure what to say about it. So basically, you just collect what you want, and you have little fishies, so try to, try not to get hit by those fish, by the way, because uh, they cause you major damage if you do get hit by them. Uh, but it, it's pretty much, it's pretty much avoidable, so easily avoidable. And then, as you go through there, it'll take you straight, I believe, straight to the boss. Boss fight. Now, when I seen the boss fight for the first time, I'm like, okay, alright, maybe this game is okay. Because, uh, like, I absolutely love boss fights like this. Um, kind of wish they would have uh, did a little bit more with this, but, yeah, this boss was interesting. Pretty simple. Um, figure out what weapon that you can uh, take him out with. I figured the bombs were more effective than the bullets. So now we're going to go straight to, uh, straight to the next stage. I believe this is stage three. We go through the stages pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Um, the stages don't really last long in this game, which is really, really simple and just straight to the point. And I've never seen a game so straight to the point in my life. So basically, you just cruise through the stage. Uh, there are going to be a few encounters that will attempt to get you, but more than likely avoidable. Just try not to lose too much of your life. It's a good thing that they re replenish your life back when you get to the next stage. Because other than that, they would have been definitely would have been harder. So now I go to the next stage, and we completed the stage with our boss. Which there should have been a boss there, I think. I think there should have been a boss at every stage, at least. Um, to, excuse me, it is, it is especially to um, to up the challenge a little bit. There should have been a boss after every, every stage. This is a pretty simple stage. You just avoid the uh, you avoid the, the thunderbolts. It's gonna be birds. Uh, you have like little I'm not sure what you call those things, little floaty things that come shooting at you. Uh, pretty simple. Much everything is much more avoidable. It's pretty simple, really simple. And you go through the stage pretty fast. The, the, the music and the soundtrack is really cute. Really cute uh, soundtrack to this game, which I was surprised it was actually as good as it was. But yeah, the little UFOs throwing those little UFOs at you. And then the stage is over, just like that. Pretty quick, pretty simple, straight to the point. This game is, I have never seen a game so straight to the point in my life. This game is definitely straight to the point. Um, so now we're going to the, I guess, the lemon stage. Where you got all the little guys coming at you. And uh, you have to be careful in the stage too. Because uh, I don't think they replenish your life when you go to the boss. So try not to get hit. Try to keep as much... Uh, don't underestimate um, those guys either, because if you get hit by enough, none of them, they will, they will cause a lot of damage, and then you'll go to the boss with a little bit of life, and then you have to be on pins and needles, pins and needles, when you, when you, which is the boss is pretty easy, so it's, but you, you could still lose. Okay, now, now this right here, when I first seen it, and I heard the, uh, the music. And a little conveyor belt. I thought it was good. It's gonna be a hard stage. It sounded like it was gonna be like, oh shit, it's getting ready to get real. You hear the music, right? But this is all you get right here. I'm not sure what that is. Green coming from the top. It looked like it sort of looked like screws or something. I don't know. I'm not sure where yet. I think you inside something. Uh, I don't know. And then you go from this stage to this stage. I remember this music from Captain N. They used they used this music a lot on that episode, uh, Once Upon a Time Machine, Season Two, Captain N, the Game Master. And then you go from there to this. It looked like you inside of a piano or something. I'm not sure. This is a little a little weird. You have to be careful here because you can fall, um, and it's easy to do. So just sort of take your time. The bats will try to uh, cause panic. And just, you know, take your time and go through it. And then it takes you straight to the boss. Now, as you can see, as I got to the boss pretty, pretty hurt. Um, 
because you know those you know I, I underestimated those soldiers so basically what you do is you go straight to the, over to the right and just get the boomerang the boomerang's more effective and it, it is effective on him uh, I, the only weapon that's effective on him nothing uh, the bullets are not going to affect him so and, and just hit him in, in the side of his jaw that's where it's vulnerable and try to dodge dodge those little whatever those things he's shooting out those little bullets dodge them and did it straight and hit him straight in his head on, on his face and that's pretty much all you do be careful of the sword it's sword to cause major damage so as he's slicing the sword make sure you stay back and pretty simple pretty simple boss I don't understand why they don't have him as the last boss instead of those two guys the the, the wolf the Gary Gary and the, uh, oh, I forgot what the pig name is um, Start with a G, I think. I forgot what the pig's name is. But uh, they could have been. Uh, but but <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. But that boss gave me a run for my money. When I first uh, encountered those bosses. That's the only thing tough in this game. And you go from like easy to just straight fucking brutal. And that's what's funny about it. About this game. And try to avoid those little things. Because you want to you wanna, you wanna stay stay healthy. Those stars, you get hit by those stars, it really does a lot of damage. So you have to be careful. You have to fucking be careful. I'm drinking up some whiskey right now. Trying to relax and do this commentary. So you gotta, you don't sleep on the stage too. Because if you go down too much, it, you, you could die. You could lose a life. You have to keep them up in the air. You have to keep them up in the air. If you don't keep them up in the air, it'll kill them. And then you gotta watch the thunderbolts. It's 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 easy. So easy. So now we're heading straight to stage seven. Uh, straight to the boss. I mean, not straight to the boss, but straight to the last stage. Uh, this was my favorite music in the game. I absolutely love this tune. This tune to me is so badass. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm making the character dance. Do a little dance section for you to the music. The music's kind of funky, don't you think? That's why I use this in the intro. It's, it's straight funky, for real. Really brilliant piece of music. That's, I'm, I'm making Peril dance. Get it, Peril. Peril the cat. Okay. As you can see, um, this is very important in this stage that you stay healthy. Because you have to encounter the last boss. If you don't, keep healthy in this you won't have a chance to beat it this is what i discovered you have to stay healthy these guys will these guys are here these purple cats i'm not sure what kind of cats those are weird looking cats and i, I suffered a hit right there that i didn't have to suffer uh because um yeah it's it's important that you don't take any, too many hits because you have to be healthy for the last boss if you don't go to the last boss healthy you won't win they will body you quick Another dance section for Peril. Get it, Peril Cat. Get it. This is uh, published by uh, Electro Brain and Toy Animation um, from 1990. Could have been a better game, I think. Uh, the game is over too fast, though. Um, over too quick. And you gotta know where you're going here. There's no time, so you could absolutely feel your way around and just, I guess, uh, explore. So it's a good thing there's no time clock. Be careful right here. Usually you have to take a hit right here. I managed to absolutely not take a hit because usually I do take a hit. I take at least two hits from here. I didn't take any. And I think that's how I was able to land this new death run is because I didn't take any hits at all just from the purple cat. As usually I take two hits right there to get up there. So as you can see I'm excited. Uh, I'm saying some prayers. I'm like, okay, I wanna I wanna land this game. Land this no death run here. So I'm like I'm praying, saying, hey, I, I, I got a chance. I'm hoping this is one. Now one thing about this boss is he is not the same all the time. You absolutely win by luck. When you go there, sometimes he'll come to Gary Gary and go straight over there and body you. If you touch 
the wolf or whatever he is, a dog or whatever, he'll body you in one hit. Here we go, another dance section. He'll body you in one hit. And sometimes the bullets will, will hit you and body you in seconds. It's absolutely by pure luck other than skill. It's not even skill based this boss. It's by pure luck alone. And you have to have at least half of bar life in order to defeat him. As you can see, look at this. I usually be dead by now. But I'm jumping up. It's important to jump the bullets. Jump, keep continue to jump and jump. I almost got body too. It was almost over. But I got him before he got me. And there you go, a no death run. There you go, no death run. Um, this is uh, Puss in Boots. Uh, I, I love, no love the title, by the way. Why would you yes. name it Puss in Boots? Why didn't you just put Peril's Big Adventure would have been better. Puss in Boots? Come on now. <laughs> Puss in Boots. Okay, it, I, I just... I just think that title is so funny. Um, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure what was happening with Lady Liberty just there just now. But it looked like either he was hurt or he's having a great time. So I'm assuming he's having a great time with Lady Liberty to celebrate the No Death Run. Uh, and it takes you straight to the, uh, to the screen where it shows the credits. Jaywalk. Miss Yachu? I guess I'm not I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but yes uh, great job on the music in this game definitely these these are the creators of the game and I guess that's all they got so that's why they show on one screen because it's just these are these are the only uh, creators of the game the designer the producer and the one that does the music yeah 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 yes um this game is pretty cute it's a cute game. It could have been so much better, though. I absolutely used to get this uh, mixed up with Rocket Cats. I believe Rocket Cats is a total different game. Probably on the um, def definitely a more uh, difficult scale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Rocket Cats too, but for some reason I thought Rocket Cats was this game. I was getting the games mixed up, but no, this is Puss in Boots, which is Peril the Cat from Captain and the Game Master, and um, this is how I knew about uh, Puss in Boots is watching that episode of Captain N. So I'm going to celebrate with some uh, whiskey. Did it. No death run. Yes. The no death run. Yep. Got to celebrate with some whiskey. All right. This is your girl Retro Star. And thank you everybody for watching. And you guys stay safe out there with all the craziness. And you have a great day. Keep it fucking retro. Keep your mouth from me troubled. No trouble at all, Captain. After him, Bimbeke. Snake overboard! Bye! Hate to sink and run! Or come back with my ship, you, you, you!